I'll tell you about these things. YouTubers, when you uh, describe something, make sure you go through every single little detail. Might help people out. It's funny, uh, I'm going to the person, I'm the person that goes through every single little detail, and yet I'm the person with the less views. They'll figure, right? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Corbin TJ Nation 87 on a 1987 IROC ZL1 with a soon getting LSA supercharged engine in it. Also, subscribe to my girlfriend's channel as well. Her information is down in the links below. Please go do that. Get her to 100 subscribers. Come on, guys. You guys like my channel. You like what I do. Please get her to 100 subscribers. Please. For me. Thanks, guys. I want the, want the driveline assembly and I want my call packs. All this. It's mine. Body and all that stuff. I'll be most likely be giving it to him. And I own a Terminator snake. It's going to be turned into a Terminator snake. Today's episode is about this. You guys enjoyed that last video retaining to about the Brembo bear I give that a big thumbs up too. So you don't think about the Brembo brakes a while back and I stopped at the certain tolls as you see here. I have this to change the wheel. In order to know you have to go back in the time. So let's just do that real quick. All right guys. What's going on guys? Corey from TZ Nation 87. I hope you guys enjoyed that last video that I was showing you pertaining to the install, which is this video, me installing this lovely stuff today. But before we get into this, I'm Corey. This is my LS2 Swap 1987 RIT. And the making of a Terminator Snake is being made, I also own as well. Yeah, it was a V6. It's supposed to be a daily driver, about two, two grand, maybe a little bit more. There's no point in me than just going, just gonna do an upgrade and send it. So if you like what you see thus far, you know what, I'm gonna switch it to wide. Hit the subscribe button, hit that notification button. It'll let you know whenever my videos comes up. It helps me out. It puts my videos out there a lot more. Plus, all my information, TZ Nation 87 or iRoxy Nation on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can follow me on there too. It is a bit on the gloomy side today, so I think I want to get to work. I'm going to see what I can do. Hopefully, I'll be able to get everything done today. It's supposed to be snowing. I don't know how accurate the weather man is, but it's supposed to be snowing. So it's snowed before, and nobody said nothing. Subscribe, guys. Keep everything good. Now let's get started. It's a good shot. Let's get started. All right, guys. Clearly, you can see it's the next day. I'll explain that in another video. So I'm gonna start with this wheel first. Move this over. It'll be easier for me to sit here and work on it here. So it's easy access. I'm gonna take this wheel off, and I'm gonna take this spacer off. Because this is the easy then I'm gonna proceed to take everything off. I decides to get colder and wind decides it wants to blow. Then I got this off. Time for me to start working on that. Right there. As I thought, remember when I told you they were on there temporarily like that, like this? Well, apparently they, they are the same size as these hubs. What I'm trying to show you guys is how this is here. It won't go over there. Well, the bright. If I can get this shave a sixteenth of an inch, it'll slide right in. There is a machine shop close to me. Until then, I'm going to put these back on the hub and put those back on because I can't do anything until I have these machine sixteenth of an inch. It's like this here. Literally, it won't go down. So I need to have that shaving a sixteenth of an inch. And why I decided not to this on and all this stuff in here on yet. 
and put it on here is because of the fact when I go to do this, I want to do it all in one take. I don't want to just do it piece by piece by piece and it's getting colder by the day. Just wanted to just to do it all in one take to put the hub there. It's not going to be any point putting that hub there if I got to machine it. A little bit more slim. I kept them on here to get it slimmed down 16th of an inch. So then, to me, it probably wouldn't make sense to you, but to me, it wouldn't make sense to take all this off, put everything there, wait until I have it machined to put everything back on it. And I can just do it all in one take. That was the whole purpose of me actually trying to do it. So until then, I'm going to have to put this back on and you know, you'll find out later. Well, besides this, kind of reminds me of the LS2 pilot bearing. Right there. The, yeah, that was the one that, that was the extra one that I bought. And I just went on a spree of buying a whole bunch of bearings. I have everything set up on this side. And I have everything set up on this side. So when I get to it, I can just take everything off and go according to his plan. It's step by step. By step. Here's a new cotter pin, a new back brake. Can't drill this like I wanted. I got to get bigger drill bits to drill into it so therefore i can't drill into it. these are the two different type of drill bits that i have and the only drill bit that i have left i can't find it right now smaller than that i need something that size and that size cut that one bracket off in the back seal bearing i have all that there aligned i can do all this over here and be done with it everything over here i can just come over here do what I need over there, come back over here, put all this stuff on, and be done with this. It's the drill bit that I have. This drill bit is not big enough. I need to have a bigger drill bit. You can have this to tap into this, or I can just get the same size and get something a little bit longer to have a nut back there and screw onto the nut and have the nut in place. But until then, I have to get this machined. This is right here, it's too wide. I have to get this to a well, right there, that, that's how much I need cutting off, off. Like the whole thing, I need it all shaving off. It'll slide right in, no problems. Until then, I can't do anything, which sucks. Never mind, I take back what I said. That fits in here just right. It's the spacer that I have to enlarge a sixteenth of an inch inside the little, the little circle. I have to take on the inner side like I have to take a sixteenth in the inner side of that spacer to enlarge it just a sixteenth of an inch the way everything will just slide into place so yes as you've seen I didn't have to stop to do that what I'm going to be doing today is since now I have the tools I know what to do just to work on this side first I'm going to get the jack that I have up here and then I'm going to put it put it down here and lift this up and then get working on that side then go over to the other side nice day so why not let's place the uh head gear that i had yeah, with the two rubber bands in the back i'm gonna try to find an angle i'm gonna actually take this apart lighten the thing trying to get this see what i can do today it's probably going to take a couple days but what you guys in 4k mode there's, there's a couple of things that i have to do today you don't want to watch me Take off the wheel. Oh, look at it. You guys can watch me pull this off here like that because that's how easy it was. Up until like this. this off and some stuff I can just connect this back here and take this off and but that probably might be another day but 
Well, it seems to be having a little bit of technical difficulty, so I'm going to do it with the two rulers that I have in there. I'm going to have to manually shape for this, so I still won't be able to get the wheel on today. This is going to be more than once. It's one day. Hey. The wheel look great when it's done. But, but the bread rolls, it'll look great once it's done. And my third gen guys, it failed to break. When you think it's just a regular bolt back there to get it off, no, it's not. You actually got to use an Allen key to get this off. Not the perfect size. When they write mine, design it to be a hex key instead of a regular bolt. I'll tell you about these things. YouTubers, when you uh, describe something, make sure you go through every single little detail. Might help people out. It's funny, uh, I'm going to the person, I'm the person that goes through every single little detail, and yet I'm the person with the less views. They'll figure, right? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I had to get some stuff for the front wheel. I had to get that for the front wheel. I had to get the filer for the front wheel. And I gotta get the, I have the screw set off of for the front wheel. So, guess what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna be doing the front wheel. So, without further ado, let's just get to the house so we can get started. You know, I said get the filer for the front wheel, so I pretty much tried to bore it out. I'm destroying my base at trying to do it. Say, three hours? Nothing. Nothing. Got a whole nother one to go. Three hours and nothing. Three hours. And in order to bore that out at a machine shop, it only takes about five minutes because I've already done it, but they're trying to charge me three, four, five hundred dollars just a five minute bore. Which a machine could do in five minutes. Well, the machine can actually do it in about two minutes. To set everything up, it only takes about three minutes. Yep, that's where I'm at. What happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you're in a room, when you're in a room with a hacker and they freeze your PlayStation because they're mad because you're faster than them, they freeze your PlayStation. Wow, guys, wow. I have a whole entire room crashing me. Wow, guys. See, when you're doing the breaks, you're trying to do the fortune rotors or whatever rotors. You're trying to do the big bear break upgrade swap. What people fail to realize when they go into the process, they fail to tell you that you need a size nine to get through this. Because once I do this, I have it like this. I don't know why I never auto focuses no more. I think my uh, camera is going bad. But to get a kick, I stick that nine right in there. And I turn it and you can watch it as it turns. See it turning? So people fail to tell you. You literally have to do that in order just to get a caliper off. I thought it was a regular, like a regular nut back here. That takes one of these. But it's not, you take some of these that you gotta manually turn it and then turn it. And you can see that it's slowly turning out. See, you can watch it slowly turn out. I have my camera, something's going on with my camera. See? See? And I guess you pop it with a hammer on the other side. Not that you have to use a size 9 in order for this to work. And I had, to use, I had to actually use like a crowbar to make that turn into a crowbar to actually hit it because it's just a little tight. So I gotta do it for this side and that side. And that's what other YouTubers failed to mention. So yeah, as you're looking, literally pop this down. Now do I have to hit it this way to pop it out like that? And uh, like it'll slowly come out and you have to tap it and it'll pop it out on that side They don't say anything about these. I thought it was a regular screw But no, it's one of these things that you actually have to do this 
nobody has said anything on YouTube about actually how to actually change them. I'm telling you now that you actually have to use a, not a size nine, a size nine to go in here and you go in here and you go this way. You go clockwise. That's all it comes. This is loosening and this is tightening. So in case you ever want to know, just in case you have a third gen and you want to change your brakes. To, let's say if you want to use the stock ones, that's what you have to use. It's not budging. I don't know how much leverage I can get. I don't know if you guys can actually see, but I literally have to do it like this. And then actually, see that? Like I... <clears throat> see? And then you literally have to sit there and struggle to change those. So don't nobody tell you of actually how to do that. My whole entire body weight. Watch it go down. And I have to do that each time. Open it up. You're going to need a crowbar. You're going to need a crowbar. You're going to need a crowbar. First and foremost, you're going to need a crowbar or use the end of your, it's a jack of a, a broken jack and I'm using it for like a crowbar. And you gotta use your body weight and Clockwise and then go down. <coughs> go down. Got that out and then see now I have to use a hammer to get it off. And it's off. In the future the end result will be nice. It'll be rewarding. And make sure that you take that, this pin out, the kit that I have already has it. And then you turn this, it allows this to be turned off. Sit that right on there. Some other thing comes off. Got that, and you got the washers that comes off. You need to just pop right off. And then there you go. Oh, I'm gonna do this, what you just watched me do over here, I'm gonna do over there. And the next video will be, oh, the next video that I'm going to do is I'm going to chop these off. And we're going to do the installation, so. I don't want to make this video too long. Part one behind the scenes of what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video up. I'm going to do a story I'm going off. So I'm going to have to use the angle grinder to cut these off. I'm not using them again. So it's good to just cut them off anyway. Besides, I got bolts like that inside of there anyway. So I don't have to reuse anything. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to either side. So I'm going to edit this vlog up for you guys. This vlog is over the course of a couple months, so I'm going to finally release this one. I'm so sad I wanted to, I want to start something and end something in the same video. Sometimes I guess that's not how the cookie crumbles, so with that being said, follow my social media down below, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So I might just continue Twitter, I don't know. TZ Nation 87 or I'm like Z Nation 87. Follow my girlfriend's channel as well. Follow Dragon Z01's channel as well and follow the multi channel as well in case like like whatever like, whatever you don't like you can always go to a different YouTube channel and actually see it so I provide a lot of content for you guys. So with that being said all the descriptions down in the links below. Keep God in your heart first and foremost. Without God, none of this would be possible. Even in the most difficult times. At least I got one off. I got one off. It, 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 I'm pretty sure it'll be a breeze to put everything back on. But with that being said, keep it T Z all the way to the end, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Ah!